Hi, in this video we will learn how to import data sources. We have our sheet containing sales transactions and we will create a new pivot tables, a new pivot table. As you can see we have only transactions from 2020. So I will go to insert and pivot table in a new worksheet. In our pivot table fields, I will drag and drop the sales into the values area, then the salesperson into the rows area, and the date into the filter. I want to see all the dates. And as you can know, as you already know, we have only 2020. Then Excel can help us to create a pivot table based on external data sources. For this, we need to create a new pivot table by selecting and completing some steps. For example, I'm going to insert pivot table and on the create pivot table window, you already see that we have blank field onto table or range because Excel didn't recognize any source when we create a pivot table. So we are going to use an external data source. I will check this option and then you need to choose the connection. Excel will recommend us some versions but we will go strictly strictly to the files containing the file containing 2019 transactions because we want to make some different reports for the different years. We don't have a full database of our transactions that can contain let's say last five years and we need to compare but in a term of in a visible term so we will add on the right side of our present sheet a new pivot table in order to analyze the figures for different years. So I will click insert pivot table. I'm going to check use an external data source and I will click choose connection. Excel will come with some different recommendation but I'm gonna choose browse for more button from the existing connections window. Browse for more and I'm going to select uh, my table containing 2019 database. As you can see Excel asked me to select a table and in that file that we choose we have a sheet 1 and the type it's table. I will click OK and I don't want to create a new worksheet as we explained earlier. I want to have the pivot table near the old one in order to compare some figures. So when you have to complete different reports with different files it's OK you can import data from different files into your Excel, into your working Excel. So let's finish the import by clicking OK and here we go we have a pivot table with pivot table fields and to check that the rows and columns, mainly the database, are different comparing with our 2020. Let's choose the same fields and I will have date on a filter. We will put salesperson on the rows area and into the values area we have the turnover, so the value of the sales. Let's increase the font and now we are ready to read the report. We have 3000 and 4000 
and as you can see we have 2019 and here is 2020 2020 it's in our local file and 2019 it's imported from other file mm -hmm.